Hey everyone, this video has been a long time coming because I, I'm telling you, I started this note in my phone, who knows how long ago, called Skincare Research and I've been planning to release this video, I think, since I've started my channel, so it's been a while. I am someone who is easily influenced buying every single hyped skincare product on the market, I mean any beauty product in general, so I have tried a lot of skincare and I'm also someone who really needs to see quick results or else I get bored and I'm like, no, this doesn't work. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and talk about as many products as I have written down. Every single skincare product I've tried ever, um, if as long as I can remember. I have all of them that I currently own sitting next to me and then I also have some that I've ran out of on my actual Phone notes. So let's get going. I'm so excited. Starting with the ones I don't physically have with me. Or actually, you know what I do. So The Ordinary. Okay, The Ordinary Niacinamide. This is, I'm just gonna say, get it if you're concerned about texture and pore size. I am mostly concerned about pore size. I really feel like I have such enlarged pores until I started using a niacinamide. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it just ama it's amazing and my skin feels so tight. Um, so I use this morning and night. Now I did recently get the Sunday Riley Niacinamide Serum and honestly, you know, I'm not noticing like too much of a difference between these two and the price points are like huge difference. So if you wanted to get a Niacinamide for, pore, for pores, I would get the ordinary one. I feel like it works like so well, like you need it in your life. Next I wanted to talk about face washes. I'm kind of going in random order so I'm sorry about the chaotic nature of this video. These CeraVe face washes are really good, very gentle. I feel like they work with any and all skin types, so have no issue with those. Um, I haven't used them in a while just because I have been trying out different stuff, but like not bad and you know a good price. Panoxyl, I'm out because I just ran out of it, but it's the Panoxyl blue and white like acne foaming or the acne face wash. That stuff is amazing, okay? If you are like going to the gym a lot, you have acne prone skin, you need to use it daily to prevent breakouts and also stop breakouts. It's so good. And I can use it daily without it drying out my skin, but that may not be the case for everyone, so use it with caution. It also can dye your hair really easily because it has kind of like a bleaching effect to it. So be careful, but it's really good. Like try it if you have a lot of acne. Now um, let's talk about I guess exfoliating products. So these are the two that I love at the moment. These um, the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily Tonic and then the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. Both of these are going to like if you use these in the evening you're gonna wake up with like a radiance to your skin and it's only explained by these two products, not necessarily together, but one or the other will give you that like beautiful exfoliated radiant skin. So honestly, I think this one is like better. And you can also get it at TJ Maxx if you don't wanna pay like the full price for it, I would do that. So good, and you can use it all over your body as well. Every time I use that, I wake up like feeling like a model. I just look so good, I don't know how to describe it. You have to try it, and then you'll understand the morning after glow. Feel pads amazing but yeah very pricey so try them from like the sephora sale i wouldn't just buy them full price like they are expensive but there are also a lot of alternatives to like a daily peel going along with the peel the ordinary aha bha peeling solution this is like that blood red mask you've seen people using online um i really you know it's a good product but with the like maintenance this takes like the application and it being like really you know it could dye your clothes or like it's really messy i don't use it as much as i should but it does give really good results and you will also again like have like a face peel like your face will peel off and you'll have a brand new baby skin face so really good um i also use this on my feet if you have like want to get some dry skin off your feet kind of random but it also works like really well for that so good product but I wouldn't overuse it because it is like very harsh on your skin and it's also not for everyone really because it's it's you know for sensitive skin I cannot I can imagine this would not go well I'm like going pretty quick with these products I'm proud of myself H and Lily glass skin serum I don't have my bottle with me because I'm out really good stuff it also helps with pore size but again i feel like so many different products combined help with pore size that you don't need like all of them 
I have put my friends onto this one and a lot of people do really like it, so it's good. I wouldn't say it does anything else other than like kind of cover and make your pores look smaller. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like your skin texture and pore size is again erased. I don't know what's in that stuff, but it is good. I just haven't repurchased it in a while. Um, but maybe I will. So I remember loving it at the time I was using it and that's what I wrote in my notes. So maybe I'll go back to it. As for other serum, vitamin C serums. Okay, you need a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine. They're so good. I've tried the True Skin one. I haven't noticed, like in general, I haven't noticed too much of a difference with any vitamin C serum, if I'm being honest. Uh, I don't know if that's just because like I don't have much to change, but I haven't noticed the difference. But that one has like 20,000 like five star reviews on Amazon, the True Skin one. It's really good, a good affordable, more affordable price point for skincare at least, um, amazing. Another one if you want to splurge and like have scientific research done that it actually works is the SkinCeuticals one. That was in my skincare rotation for a while this year, um, I'm out. Trying to, I'm trying to use up my other vitamin C's before I repurchase or try another similar product, but it is really good and it's like recommended by dermatologists. People who like love the best of the best skincare, that is the product. But again, so expensive. So really, you know, you could try other options too. So another alternative to that is this Milano CC Essence. It's basically vitamin C serum, but I got this on Amazon. Um, again, I just started using this one and I haven't noticed a huge difference because I haven't noticed a difference from any vitamin C, but I do know that it is important to have one in your routine. So here, this is a good affordable one if you wanna have something that does have results, but also is, you know, more affordable. For eye creams, okay, so I've tried the Bobbi Brown under eye cream, the like extra thick one, really good. I think it's a little bit too thick for under makeup, but like as a nighttime eye cream, I think it's really good. Um, again, it's expensive, and I feel like if you get a good moisturizer, then you might not you might not need an eye cream if it's just for moisture. Like maybe just get a really good moisturizer and use like vitamin C if you want to brighten. But I am using one right now. This is the Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect Eye Serum Eye Cream. This is good. I mean, I haven't noticed a huge change in like my dark circles or anything. I'm, I'm still trying to manage those all the time. I'm thinking I'm having to get, I'm going to have to get like PRP. I think someone recommended that to me. So thank you. But yeah, this has a lot of amazing reviews. Just for me, I haven't noticed a huge difference yet, but again, I don't, I don't know. I just, I have maybe a different issue that this can't really treat. But, you know, if you want a good eye cream, this has amazing reviews. Again, not like the most affordable, but worth a shot to try. If I would recommend one or one over the other, I would probably choose the Caudalie one over the Bobbi Brown one. All right, let's talk about like acne fighting products. Again, I don't normally struggle with acne. That's not something that happens for me. But recently, recently, I don't know what's been going on. I've been getting acne. I swear it's my boyfriend's fault somehow, um, but I've been getting a little bit of breakouts and I've had some deep cystic acne that was insane. Like I could not get it to go away until I used this. It's the Murad Deep Relief Acne Treatment. I, I've already used almost half the bottle. This stuff is freaking amazing for deep acne. I never thought my pimples would go away. I thought I was gonna have to go get them injected. And then I tried this for like three months Finally, my pimple went away. It was insanity, and I was being haunted by that pimple every day, I swear, but this is really good, and um, even if I feel like a little bit of a pimple coming on, I apply this because I'm like, no, not today. Other acne, the Differin Gel. So that is from like Walmart. It's kind of like a retinol alternative. Again, really good for acne, but like so drying, like you are, your skin is gonna be dried out. <laughs> be careful, because you also have to pair that with a really good SPF too. So it's hard. It's hard to use it in the summertime, especially if you're in the sun a lot. So it's good for acne. Again, very drying. Honestly, try, if you don't wanna get into that, try this Murad for acne, but it's still good stuff. Like it definitely produces results. Okay, actually getting into the bad boy, 
the good stuff, the medical grade prescription tretinoin. I have half a tube left of this one. I have, I think, two more tubes of backup, and then I have like the 0.1 or the 0.01, and then this one, the 0.25. 0.025. This is, I think, really pushed up recently and popularized um, about like wrinkle prevention and anti-aging and all of that and you know I haven't noticed anything like that for myself. I'm also young so of course I'm not having wrinkles pop up at this moment but I do notice that this is like really good for acne and I haven't used it to the point where I got like the tretinoin glow so I don't want to say like this is a, a miracle product. I really feel like if you're young, you know, don't start tretinoin too early. I feel like if you're young, like there's not too much of a reason to start tretinoin early. So just wait until you're an appropriate age for it. Um, but it is good and it has proven to remove and, and kind of resurface your skin and it is medical grade. So yeah, you have to get prescribed this as well. So it's, it's a long process, but again, worth it. Okay. Let's talk moisturizing products. So I have a few, <laughs> um, starting with the, I don't have it with me, but the Ordinary Squalane Oil and the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil. Both of those are so good. I used to use them religiously. I've just been trying different moisturizers recently, but if you want a good oil, those are amazing. Again, also I've been using these Soog fortifying oils. I just got them in a big pack on Amazon. It's black seed, rosemary, no, black seed, rosehip, and castor oil. So this is supposed to be like nature's Botox, which is why I'm like, okay, give me some of that. I love dousing myself in oil on my face, hair, body. Like I love being like a little, I don't even know what you would call it. Like just covered in oil. I love being shiny and this is really good for that. Again, this is almost out, but really good stuff. If I had to pick a favorite oil though, I would probably pick the Squalane oil from The Ordinary, and it's also affordable. Next is this Waletta Skin Food. I saw this was popularized by Hailey Bieber, and this is the ultra rich one. Two things I'm gonna say. The smell is really strong, and it's not like a delicious like spa scent. To me, it's like, organic -y, kind of like herby smelling and it's not like a good organic herb smell so again if you're gonna be bothered by the scent of this like don't get it because it is a very intense it's also really thick like they have a lighter version and now I understand why you would want to wear the lighter version this also cannot be worn under makeup with how thick it is like it is so hard to continuously rub into my skin like it's really hard to break up so yeah, it's good, but I'm not like amazed by it. And then the last moisturizing product that I literally love so much and I've been using as like an everyday moisturizer is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This stuff is freaking good. I should have got the big size, but now that I know how amazing it is, I'm considering going and getting it. This is like really good for moisturize, to moisturize your skin. Again, my skin's like kind of dry, so I love all the moisture I can get and this doesn't feel sticky or anything gross like that and I know it's supposed to be a face mask but I'm using this stuff every day. There's no scent to it either which is like sometimes there's just too much too many scents going on I don't need more scents in my life but yeah it's really good stuff and it's like so lightweight but at the same time like moisturizing it's amazing you guys gotta try it last category are sunscreens spfs so i have two to show that i could give like a genuine review on this is the la roche posay posay i don't know tinted 50 spf broad spectrum spf sunscreen whatever this good color um thin formula i don't know like the smell kind i just don't love the smell like, I don't know how, I don't know what I would say this smells like. Well, how I can describe the scent is just really strong and I'm very sensitive to scent. So the, like the scent is too much for my nose and it's not like it's supposed to be having a fragrance. I don't think it just has like some kind of natural scent that I, I don't like. So I don't reach for this as much, but I do like if I want to go to the gym with some kind of tint on my face and have a bit of coverage, I like this or going outside. And then my very last, skincare product I'm showing you guys is the Tula Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen 5th Bottle. I'm not even sure. 
I love this stuff mostly because of the glow it gives you. It's really nice. Let me just apply a little bit and then show you. But I really like this just every day, the shine, because I'm always wanting that like dewy, shiny look. That's like my favorite thing ever. So if I can get that from my SPF, that's great. And it encourages me to use it more. I want to try a zinc oxide sunscreen because I've heard those are really good. So I may give this a break and try another one. I can just say that I like the formula. It doesn't leave a white cast because I'm more tan, you know, it's like a sheer, clear color. Gives me a little bit of shine and again, goes pairs well under makeup. So this is always a love. Those are the reviews of all the skincare I've tried and my thoughts. So hopefully that was helpful. I love, tr I love trying new products and I'm, I'm such a stickler. So Again, if you have any questions, let me know down below, but if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Please give me recommendations for content down below in the comments. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to film ideas, but I really, I don't know, I'm just doing random stuff. But let me know, because I want to I wanna add value to your lives. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video, and have a lovely day. Bye, guys.